Even as he battles with senators, President Trump tries to unite Senate Republicans. The ongoing public feud between Senator Bob Corker and President Trump exploded today, just ahead of the high-stakes visit to Capitol Hill. The president met with Senate Republicans this afternoon in an effort to project party unity amid the tax reform debate. Mola Lenghi is on Capitol Hill with the story. President Trump was on Capitol Hill today for a working lunch with Senate Republicans. The goal of the sit-down was to rally GOP support for his tax reform plan. The president did not speak with reporters afterwards. Tax reform is what we are about. If there's anything that unifies Republicans, it's tax reform. But ahead of the meeting, Republican Senator Bob Corker said the president's involvement is not helping. I would let the tax writing committees uh, do their work and stay out of taking things off the table and really ne negotiating against the process before it even begins. Mr. Trump responded on Twitter saying Corker, quote, couldn't get elected dog catcher in Tennessee and is now fighting tax cuts. The president uh, has great difficulty with the truth on many issues. He's obviously not going to, to rise to the occasion as president. Some believe Mr. Trump is undermining his agenda by feuding with Corker and other Republican senators. House Speaker Paul Ryan hopes the two will settle their differences. I know Bob, who supported the budget, wants to get tax reform. I know the president wants to get tax reform. I long believe that it's best just to settle these things in person. Senate Democrats view the infighting as an opportunity. This bill is not a middle class bill. Come work with Democrats on a real middle class tax bill. The plan your advisors put together with Republicans on the Hill doesn't do what you say it does. The House is expected to vote on the Senate's past budget proposal this week. House leaders are aiming to unveil their tax bill sometime next week. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, Capitol Hill. House Speaker Paul Ryan says he hopes to have the tax and budget bill on the president's desk by the end of this year.